Does Brett make up with her road manager? It is best not to say now. Thank you for tuning in to meet your girl, Miss Awesome Lawson, also known as Mama Mario. And you guys, this is Brett Loves Judy, episode three, season three. I am behind, so I'm going to catch up, y'all. Things be happening, okay? But anywho, let's jump right into it. Um, The things that I want to point out in this episode is... um. Okay, we know that Brett and her road manager got into it last week and she got her to help her to find someone else to replace her, okay? So they got into it, all right. So now, on this episode, um, Judy comes down and, and asks Brett, what happened? Why is, you know, uh, furniture moving? So she lets her know that they got into it or what have you. And um, so... After she let her know what happened, you know, um, they decide that she do need to sit down and talk to Bella. She's very important to her um, and has been in um, her business, her life, the role that she plays for so long. It's somebody that she really don't want to want to lose. So they decide to meet up to have a powwow, y'all. So... Um, what I have to say about that is I feel like I was right once again last week when I talked about, um, them getting into it. This is what I said. Red and her, um, road manager got into it. Okay, you guys, y'all have to check it out. Now, my opinion about that was um when they met up i felt like there was there's a lack of communication before they even met up there was a lack of there's a lack of communication before they met up and there's, there was a lack of communication at the um at the meeting you guys so um i feel like both of them could have opened up more at this meeting y'all know my dog gotta be some haters so i felt like um Bella could have, I think it's her name, Bella could have opened up more at the meeting and discussed more of what she's dealing with so that Brad could have understood more because Brad also did tell her how she has miscarried. So I felt like that was, um, that was when she could have opened up because that is something hard for a lot of people to deal with. So she could have told Brad more of what was going on in her life so that they could have came together and, um, came up with a resolution. But instead, okay. they, so y'all see that your girl be knowing what she be talking about, okay? But anywho, y'all, y'all see that I was basically saying the same thing that Brett realized after they had a talk. So when um they started to talk about the things that was going on in Bella's life, she finds out how she had went into a dark place, and um. Brent reassured her that she is a good parent. You don't have to worry about that. You are a good parent. And that was good to see. It was good for them to communicate. It was good for Brett to understand where she's coming from, even though Brett does not have any kids as of yet. Even though she's pregnant with one, she was still understanding and compassionate to her friend about the issues. So that was awesome. And the Brett feels like, I just need to dig deeper when I feel like something is wrong with Bella because she happens to shut down sometimes or not come forward with what's going on in her life. So that is good that Brett sees that and that's all that is needed. So that can be on one accord and so she can also know what's going on in her friend's life because she also cares. It's not just about the business. She really cares. They really care about each other. So that was good to see. Um, that was an awesome part of the show to see how they were able to communicate and get things back together. Um, I also like how the role of um, the lady that works in Judy's warehouse, I love how she is just in control. She Whatever her role is, she takes control. Apparently, Judy likes it because she's handling her business. She's like a godmother, kind of like to um, 
Judy's son. So that's good. She brings him in the office. She asks how he's doing in the personal life at home. How is he getting along with Brad and Judy living there? She also gets on him about washing the dishes. He said he washes his own dishes. She said, you mean to tell me if it's four dishes in the plate, you just gonna wash your own? So uh, when she talked to him about that, he was like, well, yeah, I can do better. And that's good because a lot of times kids be needing um, that outside person, um, that neutral person to let them know. And then they can kind of like, they get it back together like or not even get it together they know that that person is not hating they know that that person is a mutual person and they get it so that's good he got it also he was informed that there's room for growth if he likes what he does it at his mom's warehouse so that's awesome because he's totally interested in growing in the business and that's always awesome especially when it's your child you know, that's what you want because one day they may be running it. You know what I'm saying? So, that's totally, totally awesome that um, her son is interested in growing in the business. And it's also awesome that Judy is like, yeah, that's a great idea. Because it could be like, she could be like, mm, no, I don't think he, he would be able to do that. No, she is. She wants him to, to if he wants to. So, that is Awesome. Um, oh, and one thing, Judy. Judy, you said something about a book, and it wasn't in this episode, but I recall you saying that you wanted to write a book for the elemental P people, um, yeah. just showing how um about I guess y'all's story and and how to I don't know how how something I don't know. But what I wanted to say is why I gotta be to the elemental P people. Straight people be looking at y'all, and straight people love how y'all love. Straight people love y'all relationship. Straight, straight people love how you handle your business, you and Brat. So, we be looking too. So, don't be just sitting up there talking about it's for the LMNOP people. All right. Anywho. <laughs> um, Jordan has not shown up for work. Brett, um, Judy's son has not shown up. So, what I noticed is when they were out about to do some marketing, <coughs> Brett and Judy, um, the lady that runs the warehouse called and was like, Jordan did not show up for work. So, um, immediately, Brett was on her phone. So, you probably would have thought that Brett was handling something else on the phone. No. Brett instantly started calling, um, I think it was Eve ex-husband who's a lawyer or what have you i think that's what you call and she started immediately drawing upon somebody who got that pool to find out where jordan is and i like that like she was like i just called 675 like immediately she went on the phone texting she was not acting like she did not care she did not act like she did not hear what was going on she jumped in like she pulled too she jumped in like she pulled too and did that okay so anyway um Come to find out, Jordan has been locked up, okay? So, that episode is airing tonight. I'm recording this on Thursday, y'all. Hopefully, I show it on Thursday because I am a week behind. But I want to catch up. I'm going to try to catch up. So, please, please, you know, um, please, 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 you know, continue to watch the videos because... I am going to catch up, you guys, before the season end. We will be on the same, um, we'll, I'll be not caught up, okay? But we are one show behind. So, if you watch the episode tonight, you will be seeing that Jordan got locked up. So, I am going to watch the show fresh so that I can go over it with you guys and pick out key things that you know caught my ear and my eye to talk about with you guys also drop some comments down below about things that you noticed or you like or things that i commented on you guys because um you know i like to hear what you guys think about these reviews to show if you watch them what you think about certain things i wonder why he got locked up 
if y'all watched this episode, don't be telling me on this show, okay? But anywho, y'all, um, was there anything else I wanted to touch bases on? One thing I got to say is Judy loves her some balloons, okay? She loves some balloons. Uh, I mean, wherever she at, she going to have some balloons, okay? She loves balloons. And I just be wondering, those balloons just be for the moment. Do they just bust them all? Like, what do they do? Do they take them to another event? Do they recycle them? What do they do? Because she loves her some uh, balloons, okay? Um, anywho, that was all that I wanted to touch bases on on season three, episode three. Stay tuned for season three, episode four. It is going to come before the next episode, y'all. It will. And I just want to say thank you for tuning in to meet your girl, Miss Awesome Lawson, also known as Mama Mario. And I'll see you guys on the next video. And also, y'all, when I did my hair, I used um, some of Kaleidoscope products. I will be talking about that on another video, you guys. And I will be telling y'all what I think and what I use. So, stay tuned.